French woman once said, you're not born a woman, you become one. Right. What do you think made you become a woman? I think my mom, to be honest, she's my role model. She's my inspiration. She's the reason I'm even doing this. She's just so for women. Like, she works with people, women that get domestically abused and she's been through a lot and she's just so strong and I aspire to be like her. We are born women. I think you grow into your role though. I think it's not about not being born a woman, it's about learning how to be a woman. And that's two different things. You're born a woman, you're born with the ability to do absolutely anything. And if you're nurtured um, and you're given the opportunity, the light, the water, the sunshine, then you grow and you blossom out into someone that can achieve absolutely anything at all. And that's what we're here to say today. Well, I think it's a great quote. I think. Uh, one of the things that needs to change in the world is for women and girls to feel that they have the power to do anything that they want to do. And I think that quote from Simone de Beauvoir sums it up. They've, everyone has got it within themselves to be who they want to be. And collectively, together, we've got it within ourselves, women, girls, men and boys, to create a more equal world, a better world for everyone. <laughs> We're not born women, we become women. I suppose she has a point because you form your identity as a woman in whatever culture you're in and who your friends are and how you're influenced by your society. So yeah, I mean, you become a woman of your environment. So yeah, I agree with that actually, yeah. Gosh, yeah, she's brilliant. I remember her talking about the fact that women are sort of seen as other. We're not the default. Men are seen as the default. Um, I'm trying to remember the writer who made a point of um, the fact that women are, in fact, genetically the default, and it's other hormones that then will change it. But interestingly, I think what Simone de Beauvoir was getting to is the fact that you kind of have to get to a point of being able to own being a woman, in a sense, that sense of kind of going... Okay, no one's going to give me permission, no one's going to say I'm good enough, no one's going to sort of say, you've arrived, you kind of have to decide for yourself, I've achieved what I've achieved, whether it's, you know, everything I wanted at this stage yet or not, it doesn't matter, I, you know, I'm standing firm where I am, you know. together today and marching together like that makes me so proud yeah, fighting fighting for my for my rights make me proud of course so anything you give a woman she will multiply like you give a woman a house she'll give you a home you know you give a woman babe like she'll give you a family and that's what I rep like that's why I feel for me like we represent just womanhood and everything and that's why it's so important that all these people here at this march that we all here we represent equality That I'm sensitive, like the the relationship that I can have feelings-wise with people, and how I can tune in with people energy-wise and vibe-wise. Other women empowering women makes me so happy. Um, I think like the talk that they just did in there made me feel so empowered. Um, and I just think when we collectively get together, we can produce such amazing things. And like, woo, just go women! It's so much awesomer when we work together rather than against each other. What's the moment you felt, oh, okay, yes, I'm a woman? Speaking to my friends, like, when they've been, when they've had, like, been sexually attacked and stuff, I think, you know, this is the kind of stuff that we help each other with. Um, it's a pretty sad topic, but um, I think it, it helps to be a woman in that situation because um, you don't feel embarrassed in front of, you don't feel the shame. 
just want to say it's people you know, you know? I think for me, definitely giving birth, that, that's got to be the absolute ultimate. That's something a man definitely can't do. Um, they do have their part, but they definitely don't do it. Um, yeah, that's got to be the absolute ultimate. I'm a woman, I, I, you know, I give birth to my son, absolutely. And it takes women to give birth to men. I think every time I speak with creative people um, that are usually male, and I realize that I completely have a different point of view just by the experiences and kind of the worries and the pressures that you have in your mind. It's just walking down the street is very different for you as a woman than it is for a guy. So I think that's like, yeah, conversations probably. Thank you. <laughs> Periods, Peri to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Every month when I have my period. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, in my 20s I didn't feel like a woman because I was just battling with just, you know, you're just struggling to live and you're just trying to find somewhere to live and trying to cope with horrible periods and stuff as well. It was like, I don't even want to be a woman, this is awful. <laughs> so it probably wasn't until sort of my late 20s I started to feel like, you know, I'd, I'd gone from not being able to play the piano but always wanting to, to being a a songwriter and written my own songs and I think it was that point that I was starting to say I am a musician but I was also I am a woman you know it was that owning of who I am what I do and what I believe in again. What do you think of girl on girl hate, so competition amongst women? Oh, it's hard because I mean, I work in the TV and film industry, so it's weird because I feel like we're brought up to be pitted against each other. And I even find it in myself, I'm like, why am I like weirdly like, I knew there was like a new, if there's not someone new starting at the company, I feel like. If it was a guy, I wouldn't feel like it was that much competition. It's society trying to keep us busy fighting each other instead of actually going, you know, if we work I'm together, to we can... Undermine yeah. You. yeah, we can massively do it. And I feel like, I was like, I don't want to feel like this. So I decided that when I see more women, I'm just like, you'll kick ass. Gosh, this has been written about a lot. Um, I think Roxanne Gay wrote about it um, brilliantly in her book, uh, Bad Feminist where she talks about how women really do need to be supporting each other, but it's a personal responsibility. If you're having a day, it all happens to us. You know, you look at someone on, on Instagram, and you're like, oh, she's doing exactly what I want to do. Damn it, it's not fucking fair, you know? And it's just, you have to then deal with your own feelings. That's not her fault. Good on her that she's doing so well, you know? So it's, I have to deal with my own feelings. What is it that I'm not happy with, what, with where I am today, with what I've achieved? and sort that out first and then go good on you because it means if you can do it so can I because it's proof that it's possible so let's go from that point of view so really it's all about you know taking enough responsibility yourself personally for how you feel to then interact in a mature and compassionate way with other people whether that's a woman or not but I think that's what we need to do is just look at ourselves first look after ourselves well first and then approach other people from that grounded point of view and that makes all the difference I think. Who's a woman you look up to? Erin Brady uh, from The Apprentice uh, just because she's like you know a strong independent woman and like she can if um, a guy kind of says something to her she can just like put him down like immediately just like that you know. <laughs> um, Victoria Beckham I would say she, you know, came from the Spice Girls, all girl power and whatnot, but she's out making, like, her own business, doing her own thing now, and I'm all for it. She's great. Yeah, I, I love how Victoria Beckham turned that, that line in. It was sort of like a one-off, and she's turned it into an actual fashion brand. Yeah. She's turned it into a thing, like a massive company. Yeah. 
Um, I think at the moment, currently, when I watch Wonder Woman, uh, Gal Gadot, and I just think the beginning scene of Wonder Woman when they're like, all these kick-ass women, like, going into battle, not caring and actually getting hurt, but everyone being so okay with it. Yeah. And I think at the moment, like, Wonder Woman um, is just a massive figure, figure for yeah. women. Like, you can be empowered, you can be sexy, you can be everything, and you can just own all of that, and you can be so okay, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Uh... I'm going to say my wife because she's the one who holds my life together and my family together. Uh, I think here today at the March for Women event, we've seen lots of really powerful women speakers and I think we're in a great moment now because there's been so much terrible stuff that's gone on and some really strong women are coming forward and saying this has got to end, we've got to change the world that we live in. And I think that's brilliant, and I'm all, I'm all for that. Colour my world on the darkest days Never letting nobody take a smile in you For once in my life, I'm not just what I need I can find myself falling in love And it's the way that you made me feel when I Thank you.